I'm not gonna shake my hands with someone who killed my brother, killed my cousins, killed, destroyed my house, stole my water, made my life miserable. So when she says I'm an Israeli, I do not accept you. I have the right to hate Israel because the, uh, I've lost three cousins during that, the last war. My house got hit. My, like, my, my neighbors, my friends, like I've lost so many people that I know, who I love. And today someone just comes and says that I'm an Israeli. How do you want me to, to accept that? I, I do not. She says that this is my home. Uh, I love this place. This like really hurts because her home is built on Palestinian land. You're feeling guilty because of what has happened during the Nakba, what your ancestors have done. Then you should, have, you should say it loudly. I reject being an Israeli. I actually don't believe that humans have any ownership over land. If anything, we can worship it and be grateful that it gives us life. Um, and I don't believe that nationality is enough to wrap yourself in, to define yourself. I feel that when I see one state, the one state I dream about, the one state we lived for centuries, is a one state of multiculture and where coexistence was the rule and Conflict was an exception. Um, I'm vehemently against ethnocracy in Israel-Palestine. The whole identity of Israelis is a lie, and that, with that I, I agree with Hamad. Israelis cannot... The only way for them to, to feel comfortable about their Israeliness is if they disregard the, the fact that they live there on account of other people. Not because of 67, not because of the occupation that Muhammad is uh, living, the, the hell, the, the, the barbaric, brutal occupation of, uh, of uh, Gaza, for example, but I'm talking about the occupation of 48, the way that Israel was founded on the country of other people. Uh, and we have to acknowledge that the whole foundation of the state of Israel and everything that Israelis are trained to believe are lies upon lies upon lies upon lies. There's nothing normal about Israel. There's also nothing legitimate about the state of Israel. Nothing. During the war, I've seen this like through my eyes. Like when I saw the people of Gaza, I was really proud of being a Palestinian because they did not say like kill all the Israelis. They never came out on the street and said that we should kill all the Israelis. They should. They said please enough war, enough killing, enough destruction. But the, when you see the other side, you see in Tel Aviv protests, people coming out on the streets and saying. Uh, more, we need more blood. Netanyahu comes out in the news and says, like, we're gonna exceed for, like, make the, the war longer in Gaza Strip and killing more, more children. Like, every time there's an Israeli election, there's an operation in Gaza. There are thousands of people getting killed. Then, why? Why do you say I'm an Israeli? Why do you, like, like to tie yourself to this kind of concept? When you say Israelis, we only count 80% of the population. 95% of Israelis supported the massacre, the recent massacre of Gaza. Only three or four percent actually even thought that Israel was at, was using excessive force. So not only that they supported what was happening, they didn't even think that bombing 17 synagogue, uh, 17 hospitals, demolishing eight of them, uh, bombing everything else inside, flattening, raising to the ground entire neighborhoods, that that was excessive force. My point was not to explain what happened to the Palestinians. My point is to explain why we are stuck in Israel. And when you understand these processes, you understand that the first thing that happens is the society says, nothing happened. In Israel, we can no longer say that. So then they say, okay, maybe something happened, but I didn't know anything about it. And of course, after the new historians, you cannot say that anymore. The next phase is something along the lines of, okay, something happened, and it is, you know, Maybe I knew something, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Okay, it is as bad as it sounds, but it's not me. And that's the stage we are in today. This collective agreement that it's not me. If you're just brave enough to come up and say that I don't belong to this uh, community of monsters, then I will respect you for that. I will receive you in my house and give you a room and like we can live together, share everything.